Alright, welcome back everyone to another take of video. I'm going to show you how to change eye color in Adobe Photoshop, okay? Any version will work for this, and in this version video, I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5. Okay, as you can see, I'm recording on my bio again, and this time I fixed the recording issue. I just had to reduce the resolution a bit, and uh, now everything's okay. So let's open up Adobe Photoshop, and you can see I already got a picture of an eye right here. And uh, we're going to be changing the color over here, okay? So, first of all, we have to select the uh, center part of the eye, or the iris, I believe, okay? I can't remember the name. So, to do that, we're just going to go to the toolbox right here, right-click here, and we're going to select the polygon lasso tool, okay? And uh, now, we're just going to click and select the iris area, okay? If I'm making a mistake, just put, put it on the comments, okay? I just can't remember. I'm not doing biology anymore. I'm doing physics and chemistry. So, let's just select the area of the eye. If you make a mistake, like let's say you click here by accident, just press delete and redo, okay? Easy as that. So, once you are done, just move back to the starting point and you get that icon. That means if you click, then you selected your area. Now right click and we're gonna click on feather because we want these edges to be a little bit more smoother so that the eye looks a bit more smooth, okay? So feather radius, I've set it to 30. Click OK. And uh, now what we're gonna do is right click that selection and click layer via copy. And now what it has done is that the image, image remains intact whereas it has created a new layer which in, in which it has copied the selection we wanted, okay? Now what I want to do is that I want to make the picture black and white just to make this a little bit more cooler, okay? So what I'll do, image, select on the layer, image, adjustments, black and white, and on the preset, we're going to select on maximum black. There we go. And now I want to change the color of the eye. So I'll sh also show you how to add gradients to the eye, okay? Not just one color. So I'm going to select on that new layer. Now I'm doing something a little different unlike other people who go to hue and saturation and change it. I don't really prefer that method. I want the color I want, okay? Not by just changing all those values and all this. So uh, select the new layer and change it to overlay, okay? I know it looks dark in the moment, but we'll fix that. <coughs> and then we'll right click on that layer, blending options. And whoops. Uh, what we're going to do next, now let's add a color to our eye. So let's go to color overlay and select the color you want. So let me select... Uh, okay, this is good. Make sure you select the bright color, okay? Click OK. Blend mode, if I go to overlay now, you can see the color has uh, changed. Okay, so now you can see the color of the eye has changed. <coughs> so all that matters is that if you add a bright color to your eye, so I, the more brighter you, you can see, the more better it looks. But it doesn't matter if you select the top corner. See, it looks really cool right now. And if I were to select red, then I would just brighten this up a bit. Or you could just go up to here. So you can see now we are changing the color of the eye the way as we want. And you can see green here looks very cool. Or I think this is cyan, sorry. Okay, so we have changed the color of the eye. And now, what if you want to add a gradient color, not just one color. Go to gradient and overlay and do the same thing. Just change the blend mode to overlay and select the gradient you want. I'll go to spectrum, which you can go here, which are rainbow colors. And select whatever you want and don't choose radial because it, the colors won't appear because of the uh, black dot over here. I keep forgetting the names of the parts of the eye. Okay, so I'll change the style to linear and now if you look We've got a rainbow color dye. Very easy. Unlike the other tutorials where you have to like use the brush and just do that and then I don't know, it doesn't really make sense to me. So I'm doing a different method and there you go, we did it. Okay. <laughs> 
So uh, here's the final result, black and white image and a rainbow colored eye. And uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and have a great day.